Okay, <clears throat> here's part B in the latest observation series videos. Uh, another intermediate exercise in vision about focus of being. It's part B, coming deeply into heart, calm peace. This is 10-22-2010, the second of that day, Mayan day, five water or offering. This journal continues from the previous one, links in the transcript, unscribed. So, we are looking at two things simultaneously. One is not judging the self, pulling out, pulling our belief out of what the mind has to say, the running commentary that it's always offering on our life. This is part of the move becoming sensitized to this, moving head to heart. The other is how the mind just knows about things. It doesn't know or experience things directly like you do within heart. Mind is the source of our endless curiosity about the material cosmos as well. That's where this drive resides to explore these things. We all have it. Now, regardless of anything I say here or anyone says anywhere, don't let that trump your heart's guidance. So, listen from heart. In sharing how, as one rises in conscious awareness, awakening, if you will, one sheds this curiosity like a snakeskin. This is not meant as a judgment on those called to continue exploring 3D, who love that curiosity, still want to follow it. That's a valid path for those whose heart calls them to it, number one, and for those so locked within mind that they can't hear anything else but it, number two. It's legitimate. That's what I'm saying. So, I'll continue then. Mind's knowledge is about things. Do you get this distinction? Do you feel it? Have you perhaps had the experience in meditation or just musing of somehow merging with things? It's quite possible to have the experience of being literally everything in the room. There where your body sits. This is not a mind thing. This is direct experience. Even the floor, the carpet you walk upon, it too has consciousness. All has awareness, is sentient in its own way. All is one. Fractally, we can see this. We can see it holographically as well. Remember, no matter how many pieces you cut a hologram into, each piece retains the image of the whole, not a bit or a part. It has an essence to it not found in a camera image, which is just a reflection and about. Like the mind, the camera captures an image that is about something. A mere reflection. More like the heart, the hologram's image contains the whole. It is more real, at least in that way. Now, without any judgment, that is to say, any evaluating of the right or wrongness, the good or badness of something, let's continue. Let's continue exploring from heart space. That's where I'm leading you, of course, and that's from where I'm leading you. Follow the energy, not so much the words. So, we look upon our endless curiosity as wonderful, don't we? We encourage our children in this. We see the very real beauty of it, and nothing's wrong with that. Yet, can you come with me? Make the move from the head perspective, which that is, to the heart. It's so very different in there that the same words can't be used to describe. Or if you do, they'll mean something different. 
Remember too that any description is one of those about things. It's just a reflection of things, not the real deal, the experience itself. That experience of life is what is available to us all here in heart. With the mind, it's like reading the menu. And with the heart, that's to eat the meal. The direct experience of things, not as mind thinks that would be, but as it is, which is almost always so different from what mind conjured up as to be humorous, <laughs> not as in funny, See, too, that mind's way is just a skeleton, not the real thing. Now, if you are ready, then it's time to begin stepping back farther from mind. We've been observing mind in these last two journals, just watching it work and examining that, the beauty and blessing of this, among other things, is that we're disidentifying, stepping out of that tight grip, the straight jacket of mind has us locked into. We're breaking free of that. Maybe just in little ways it is true, but so what? Is not the journey of a thousand miles begun with one step? So, from a few steps back, and snuggled down within heart, we see the mind's attribute of curiosity. We recognize it as a mind thing. Remember, no judgment, no right or wrong. We're just seeing what is. The motto holds true here and always. It is what it is. No judgment in that, just being. Do you see? So, we recognize mind's tendency to ask endless questions, to want to pursue this or that relentlessly, and we acknowledge that. We recognize how in this life and probably ever so many lifetimes we've been in pursuit of mind knowledge and the understanding that it brings. We just observe that. We merely recognize it as so, as likely so, we are dispassionate, non-judgmental, centered in heart. Now, just turn away from mind for a bit. Turn your attention more fully within. Get the sense of what it feels like in this space you now occupy, especially if you've done these two journals back to back. Sensitize to that. Become aware. Not with the power of mind, just the sensing of pure beingness. That is all. No running commentary is useful here, so if mind provides one, just turn away. Let it rattle on. No need to attend to it. Mantra for mind time. Stay in heart. Do you sense the calmness here? Do you sense the absence of all worry, all agitation, all concern? I call it peace, with a capital P. It's nothing mind knows, but you know it, or you can, here within heart. Just get the sense of this. Expand out into it. Relax into it. There's an emptiness to it, a spaciousness. There's no tension of any kind. <sighs> Realize you have infinite expansion possible here as well. Yet, everywhere you expand into, within heart, is this peace. Just feel that. Don't listen to mind at all right now. It has nothing worthwhile to say about this. It is clueless really and just a fool for prattling on. Just let it go. 
Actually, I think I will leave you here. Get used to this sense, this feeling of being centered in heart. This is available to you at all times. It walks around with you, silly enough though that is, but you always have your heart. So, get the sense of this. Imprint it deeply in your awareness. It will live forever there. Good day.